coming and check out jeans. I'm doing uh, a hexcopter build today, so I thought I'd get a stick out. It's nice weather outside, so I thought I'd get in the garage. It's going to be nice and warm, and I can start getting all the motors soldered together. I've been promising this video for quite some time now, so it's time to uh, get out. The weather's nice, so um, wind speed is a bit too high. I took the Inspire for a fly, but it was a bit windy, so I thought I'd bring it down and we'll crack on with the hexcopter build. And also, I just ordered the, uh, the controller, so I went for the NASA uh, version 2 controller with all gps and stuff so that's going to be installed that arrives tomorrow so we'll get that in and wire it up and then we should then be able to get powered up at least so i'm going to get the motors done the ecs all wired up get that in ready and ready and then tomorrow just need to install the nasa controller and power up and see if we can get all the motors spin up um, and then get it calibrated and then we should at least be able to take it for a test flight uh, and then we can then work on a gimbal and a camera to go underneath and we'll go from there uh, from that point onwards so um let's get on and let's build the hecox cat scott Right, these are the uh, EC controllers. What I was originally gonna do is I was gonna solder these, um, like put it uh, connected on the ends so I can plug them to the motors. And I thought, no, because that means I'm gonna have to heat sink them right over and it's gonna be very difficult to get to it to put it on and off. So I'm just gonna solder them straight. These are designed to, from what I can make out from the instructions, they wire directly to the motors. There's no particular way around. Um, I think the motor is set by, because um, these motors are set to like counterclockwise and anticlockwise. So I've just got to solder these straight onto there. So we'll do a nice solder straight on there and get a nice um, tie. So first thing we need to mount this on the arm and then line, um, we'll, we'll first of all, mount, we'll mount the ECE on there first. Because what I'm going to do is mount it on there so it's nice and uh, tight underneath to the body. Get that onto the board, cut the cables nice and short so there's no excess cables over. And I want to get these cables here, the right lengths. So when we put the motors on, eventually put the motors on, on here which will go underneath anyway there'll be exactly the right length uh on there with no no extra hangover so then like i want to i want to get this build real tight because i hate looking at these hex copters people are building and there's cables all over the place and they fly like that it looks untidy and looks ugly so this is going to be a real nice tidy build so first of all we need to before we start installing these i need to remove this top plate and we'll make sure this is the back of the hex this is the front of the hex so i'm going to make sure this plate goes on the other way around so i think that points the direction of where the front is i've actually took it the wrong way around so it don't really matter because when when the uh controller comes tomorrow um we'll be able to mount that in and put it point it in the right direction um of front and back um and then we can put the plate back on as well so the this is a nice little space for it here so this is where the, the NASA, um, I think, will fit inside here. Then somewhere on here, we'll bolt the um, GPS as well, because I've got the GPS um, uh, bracket for that as well. So maybe we'll just undo that. So on the GPS bracket, where do I put that? In the box somewhere. And don't forget, we've also got the, um, it's in my other box. we also got the um, landing gear to change, because these, uh, these don't come down. So these landing gears need to be taken off. But, so once we've got the controller, we'll be able to find which, um, channel to sign the landing gear to and then we can test that on the controller i'm going to use a dji controller cause i've got a spare dji uh controller at the moment um so i'm just going to use that and uh so rather than sort of pay out for another um controller in receiving unit we'll just stick with the dj one for the moment because we just want to get the basic function of let take off and flying around in circles or flying around in different directions and stuff so we get at least the basics going at least oh me being clumsy so we're almost there so we have to keep things simple. Get the EC controllers in, get the motors on board, get the flight controller in, take it for, get it all programmed up, take it for a test flight to make sure we can get off the ground with it and we can at least fly nicely and it hovers nicely and the GPS actually works. Then we can then start looking at adding on there a new a gimbal, um, get the landing gear on there so they can be, um, so they can automatically legs up and uh, then we can then take it for another test flight and get some video back off of it and stuff. So we're gradually sort of getting there. I'm gonna do um, a quadcopter build as well. I wanna build another, I wanna build a quadcopter. I've already brought, got a Storm Racer, but I want to build um, a quadcopter, again, a bit like the Storm Racer, but I've got a different chassis for it. Again, we'll put a DJI controller on it so we get GPS on it. And we'll then test that one out as well. So eventually, once he's all fully tested out and I've had lots of fun with this and lots of new videos, We'll then put it into the competition. So keep subscribing and keep checking my channel. Um, and we'll get these videos coming up. So almost there. So I'll just quick turn it off. And um, I'm not gonna give you all the boring details of like 
how everything done. I can do one sol soldering shot, me soldering it together, then the rest is sort of pretty much I'll sort of fly through. But there you go, so there's a top off, so I'll make sure I put that on the right way around. So we move that to one side. So on here we've got um we've got um, plus and negatives, plus and negatives for each of the um, ECs to go around, so we'll get them soldered onto here next. So I'll show you me soldering one and mounting it on there nicely, and then I'll speed the process up on there, because you don't want to see me do every one of them, because this video will end up being too long to watch, and it'll end up boring you guys. You just want to see the bare basics, how things are put together. So this is my first time build for Hexcopter. We've built the landing gear, built, well, built the, the frame, which is easy enough to do. So let's now mount these e uh, ESCs. All right. I bought some um, cable ties, so I've got some, so remember to get yourself lots of cable ties. I bought these black small ones, so we'll use them for securing the uh, EC controller on board. Um, I want to mount these underneath rather than on top, so do it away so you can see what we're doing. So I'm going to mount it that way up because the red goes that side, negative this side. So we'll feed the cable through. Uh, that one through, and then we'll feed through power cables, nice and easy, and we mount that nicely underneath, so it's nice and secure there, and we cable tie around for the moment, I'm gonna, just going to cable tie around the whole of the um, leg, or not, so get it nice in place. I've got a feeling I might have to use um, longer ones because <laughs> these look a bit too too small. So we'll see if we can get one on in it anyway. Um, I'm trying to keep the weight down on this as much as possible, so quite fiddly. Yeah, I'm going to have to use uh, longer ones, I thought. So make sure you get the black ones a little bit longer because it's a bit too short, these ones are. So we'll try. Uh, longer ones, which I've got again, nice longer ones, but they're white. But I'll probably change them out later to black, make them all nice one colour. But for the purpose of this video, we'll um, stick to white for a minute. So get these level, make sure they're in nice and straight. Okay, over the top. So one should be efficient. So keep this nice and tiny. So we'll keep everything at the bottom. Okay. Nice and tightly on there, and then we'll clip it off. Sure. There you go. So there you go. So we've got one. You see on there, as you can see, I've got the cables going down it in the middle there, so it's all nicely on there. Got one there. I've done it mega tight on there, just enough so it doesn't come off. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to line the motors up with. Uh, here we go. So the motors will go underneath like so, and they should be there. So I'm going to cut those um, bullet point bullet um, connectors off because these will just solder straight on. So I'm just going to do that, that, get that ready on there. So so we'll trim them down. So we use snips. One. Oh, they ping. So make sure you're wearing safety goggles so they don't ping you in the face. Keep these all the same length. And I'll get soldering iron out in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and put all the rest of them on the same way around as well. And then we can get these prepared for soldering. Right, so these now cable tied together. So we've got them all, all six on there. So what we're going to now do is we're going to cut these um, wires here, which are the um, uh, red and black. Um, so we'll get them ready and prepared for soldering onto the correct um, negatives and positives around the board. This this is will be for the this will go off to the actual NASA controller, so we won't have to worry about those for the moment. So we'll just we'll just pull those back out of the way with and we get these all trimmed in and soldered. So that's our next job to do. Right, so that's some <coughs> now all trimmed up. <coughs> I should have left myself a bit of room. I should have cable tied these so tight so I had a little bit of place and put them forward a little bit. But as you can see, they're all nicely tightly um, all done now, so they should all be the right size. And what I will do is now get them soldered and prepared, ready to solder on the joints, uh, on the plus negative joints here. So um, so we'll do that next. So that's tidied up, just got to make sure these are right out of the way with. 
um, so they don't get in the way when we do soldering. Um, so some of these can go down. Actually, fix them upwards, get them out of the way with. So take your time doing this build. Don't rush it because um, if you rush it, make mistakes. And if you want to have a real nice, tidy build like I'm trying to achieve here, um, so it's worth taking your time and not rushing it, basically. So because um, I want this to be really tidy. So when you look at it, it looks nice. Um, it doesn't look all that scruff and uh, um, cables absolutely everywhere. Cause in a lot of builds like this, they tend to have, um, even like a cable as long as this, as long as this, basically, <clears throat> they've like tight curled it like this, and then use another sort of uh, cable tie on the board. And it just looks terrible. So I might do something with these cables, like maybe um, make them shorter or something. I don't know, but we'll work out when we get to that anyway. So time being, we'll just get them. That way with these can just be put in the ends like that, so they're just they're literally right out of the way. So you don't want them anyway when trying to solder because it ends up you end up making mistakes and um, cutting the wrong parts off. You don't need to cut off and stuff. A bit of an art to doing it, but. And that's done. I'm not a fantastic solder up. I'll add a bit more solder onto that, so drop a bit off. A <laughs> bit more keeps jumping up to what I did was I. Pin that down. Jump and down. Um, in more heat on the side really it's not actually in it at, at the tip but um, no that looks good so just um, tidy the other one up and then I uh, should be good to go to do all the others <clears throat> that's the most of the soldering done now so we've got the solder done on the EC so the EC is now soldered to the main um, frame itself now so what I've mistakenly done is I've got I unpacked the motors. I didn't realise uh, which one goes clockwise, which one goes anti-clockwise. So I've just got to work out on these motors which ones are which. Then I know which arms to put them on. Basically, I have a, um, a diagram of the um, DJI flight controller to work out which way the motors go. So we can then plonk those on. Once they're plonked on, we can then get to solder those to the EC e ESCs, and then then we then we'll be ready to fit the controller. So I actually have. The NASA controller turned up today, basically. So there's the NASA, uh, the NASA DJI flight controller. So almost there now. So once this baby is in here, we can then start, and the motors are on. We can then start looking at programming it. And well, I've got a lipo battery, so make sure the lipo battery I've got is the correct one for the DJI. If it is, we can use it for testing with um, spinning the motors up. Make sure they fire on okay, and they're all firing in, in the right direction. So if that and if that's the case, then we should then be good to go to fly. So if, for, for, for the moment this is the video I'm going to do on soldering it all and the next part we're going to do is where we fit the motors and then we start mounting in the NASA controller and I will do an unboxing of the NASA flight controller shortly so until then have fun and see you on the next build cheers <laughs>